Hi, dear friends. It is my hope that you all are doing fine. I am fine too. I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you know that you are a returning subscriber and thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I don't take it for granted, guys. Just know that. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, YouTube automatically will turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. Do that, please, and you won't regret. Thank you so much. So, dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of a Tanzanian lady by the name of Tika in her late 20s. Tika thought had found true love. Tika thought had found a very rich German guy, a guy who would love her forever, on a dating site. And they started dating. Tika gave her whole, you know, her whole heart to that German guy. But after being in a relationship with that German guy, what happened to Tika will shock you, will make you angry, your blood is going to boil, but at the same time, you are going to learn a lot. Because guys, what Tika went through are the same, same things I've been warning you about. In my videos, I tell you, when a guy is like this, run. When you see this in a guy, run. But unfortunately, guys, Tika's eyes were closed, blinded by love, because Tika loved that German guy very, very much. To an extent, forgot herself. So without wasting much of your time, guys, let us jump into this video. So grab a glass of wine, a glass of water, some popcorns, a glass of juice, sit here, get to learn and enjoy the video. So dear friends, Tika's love story starts with a bit of her past love relationship experience. Why is that or why am I telling you all this? It helps us to understand or to know what pushed Tika to join online dating sites. Second, why did she go to the dating sites to search only for a white guy. So I asked Tika, have you ever dated a Tanzanian guy? And if yes, how did it go? <laughs> we would like to know. Tika was like, the truth, Bella, I have never ever dated a Tanzanian guy. <laughs> but I remember when I was in primary school, she studied at St. Mary's, Tabata. <laughs> Tanzanians, you will know this school. Yeah, so there was this mixed kid. The father was Arabic and the mother was Tanzanian from Bea, a Nyakusa lady. Yeah, <laughs> so Tika had a crush on this little boy. <laughs> and yeah, they became friends. So they were that boyfriend and girlfriend, but <laughs> the kid's way. <laughs> Don't start thinking of goodies. No, <laughs> they were very, very young for that. <laughs> yeah. So they became close friends till they finished primary seven. And when they finished primary seven, they separated, never saw each other again. It was a kid's thing. Yeah. And she also tells us the guy was half Arabic and didn't have that much interest in dating an arabic boy yeah so it is good it ended that way but tika kept on having interest in white guys white boys <laughs> so guys tika finished class seven and the tanzanian system is when you finish class seven you go to secondary school so after tika finishing class seven had to go to a secondary school went started and eventually graduated it's four years <laughs> from one to form four so after finishing form four you know was home waiting to go for a level from five and six so while at home, you know, during that holiday, decided to join online dating sites and apps to search for a white boyfriend. 
Tika wanted a white guy. It's not that she had had bad, bad experience with black guys. No, that's her thing. <laughs> she loves white guys. Yeah. So at the age of 16 tells us 16 to 17 years. Yeah. She was on the dating apps. <laughs> <laughs> was still a minor oh my god <laughs> when she told me this i was like oh this girl has a courage <laughs> at her age i didn't know even online dating sites existed but yeah it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> so yeah started her searching journey <laughs> and the first app that she was so active on was tinder <laughs> so after being on tinder for quite some time met lots of serious guys guys who could ask her to see her goodies <laughs> but had a sister who could guide her through like no don't do that if they ask you for that run they don't want anything serious so whenever she could come across a guy who could ask for the goodies photos she could just you know block the guy and keep on searching it kept on like that and the holiday was over had to go for her a level from five and from six went to from five and six and then graduated after graduating came back home it's another holiday you know while thinking of going to the university so guys in that holiday tika returned again to the dating sites and apps and joined loads of dating sites dating apps lots of groups so that she can find that white guy tika i repeat wanted a white guy by fire by force <laughs> yeah and she remembers joining this dating app called kick so guys i think it is an opportunity for you to give it a try who knows the good thing you have my guidance so if you come across a scammer you know how to deal with him if you come across a guy who is not serious you know how to deal with him so give kick a try i'll put a photo here of that dating app so that after watching this video you will download it and start searching good luck guys <laughs> with kick so yeah joined kick and after joining kick met this guy from belgium they started chatting the guy really seemed interested but when tika asked him if he has ever traveled to africa he was like i've never traveled to africa i would like to but i'm really really scared if i am to come maybe i will come see you at the airport and return that same same day <laughs> due to how i'm scared of africa tika was like no you can't spend all that money to travel to tanzania and then return the same same day but with me guys due to my own experience i don't trust this belgian guy at all at all <laughs> he was just one of those players because <laughs> If you really want to go to a country that you have never been to, do a research. And we are not in those era whereby there is no internet, you can't find any information about a certain country, there is social media, you know, people talking about Africa, even white people who have been to Africa. So for me, it doesn't make sense in 2020 or 2019, a guy is scared of coming to Africa. <laughs> But anyways, 100% truth is with that guy. But that is what he told Tika and Tika believed him. But yeah, they kept on chatting and their relationship couldn't go anywhere because the guy couldn't come and meet Tika in real life. So Tika kept on searching and then had to go to the university. So guys, Tika joined this diplomatic university and started studying all was going very very well with her studies and on her second year tika got really sick very very sick to an extent she got paralyzed on her right side yeah stayed in the hospital for so long but later god is good tika was out of the hospital had to learn everything afresh 
to use her right side. Tells us her parents, her sisters really helped her very, very much in her healing process. So after Tika healing had to go back to the university and when she went back to the university, formed this new professor and whenever this professor could teach, Tika could understand him very, very much compared to other professors <laughs> yeah so the prof too was really really good to tika could try his best to make sure tika understands and tells us at that time could use her left hand yeah couldn't use her right hand yet so they became really close but not in a bad way you know the relationship remained of a prof and a student but also tika could see that prof like a friend at the same time as a brother yeah so all continued good and one day that prof was at the university it was late in the evening then told tika that he is feeling really really sick and has called his brother to come and accompany him to his home but the brother told him he's very busy he's very far he can't accompany him then tika offered to help was like can i be the one to accompany you home is it okay the prof was like it's fine thank you so much tika so tika accompanied that prof to his home and after arriving to his home guys the worst happened yeah that prof took advantage of tika he raped her oh my god oh my god it's so heartbreaking tika cried very very much returned to the hostel but couldn't tell anyone was really ashamed of herself and the whole thing that has happened yeah and i can totally understand her because I had another story that will be coming soon. A lady went through the same, same thing, but didn't have the courage even to go to the police and report what happened. Yeah, the same thing happened to Tika. Tika had to call her sister and told her sister of what happened. And then the sister told her just to go home. So Tika had to go back home and never wanted to ever go back to that university and with all that that happened broke her heart she hated herself those us was at the point of taking her life but her sister talked to her tried to cancel her and eventually her sister saved her life yeah tells us my sister saved my life because if she could have not talked to me at that time i couldn't have been here even telling this story yeah so friends tika was home trying to heal from what happened to her at the university with that prof then one day came to visit her cousin sister so when this cousin sister came to visit they talked and, and tika told her that she was just home so the cousin sister told her you have always wanted to date a white guy and the way you look, I think you fit to become an air hostess. And if you work as an air hostess, you have higher chances, you know, to meet the white guy that you want. So why can't you go and study to become an air hostess? Then Tika was like, I think you have a good idea. So Tika listened to the cousin and the cousin took her to that college they did some measurements on tika if she fits <laughs> to become an air hostess but unfortunately they said that tika was a bit shorter to the hate they wanted so tika was kind you know sad but asked them is there any other cause that i can study here because the college was at the airport and she knew being at the airport will meet a white guy <laughs> this is really really funny <laughs> so they told her another course that you can take is air dispatch so she was like okay i'll take it 
but they told her you have to pay for it it's not free <laughs> so yeah i had to talk to the dad and the dad was ready to pay for that course and tika started studying so she studied but all her mind was you know to meet a white guy while going <laughs> to the college <laughs> and told us for all the time that she was in that college <laughs> never met a white guy <laughs> at the airport who gave her any attention or to talk to her or anything like that so her plan failed <laughs> she finished and after finishing her dad proposed that she should go and study to become a teacher so she accepted and her dad took her to this university which is in morogoro called jordan yeah started schooling and all was going super super good but even at school studying to become a teacher was still on the dating sites and dating apps <laughs> kept on searching and searching and searching could fast and pray about it so she started and eventually got her diploma the dad was really really proud of her so happy and tika started being like dad i need a gift <laughs> The dad was like you deserve it. So guys, another thing that I forgot to tell you about Tika, Tika is from a Catholic home. They are good Christians. Goes to church every Sunday. So when she asked a gift from the father <laughs> because she got a diploma, the dad was like, "Okay, I am going to give you a gift." So what the dad decided to do or to give Tika as a gift to get a diploma there was this catholic church whereby seminars could be conducted but you are supposed to pay for that seminar then go there study the word of god pray fast talk to god you know ask for whatever you want in your life or whatever you wish but of course you have to eat there <laughs> yeah have lunch there have dinner there that is why people were supposed to pay yeah so the dad had to pay for that seminar so that tika can go that was his gift what a beautiful gift from the dad tika was happy but the dad told her you will have to leave your phone <laughs> phones are not allowed in she was like what i'm leaving my phone behind <laughs> the dad said yes but eventually was happy to go to that seminar and yes guys the dad could accompany her to that seminar so while at the church the father asked her you know tell god your wish so tika her wish was god i need a white man give me a white man that will truly love me that will marry me will make a family and will love each other forever that was her request from god so knelt down and prayed also the dad knew her wish long time ago had told the dad if i am to introduce a man in this house will be a white man and the dad supported her guys so yeah the father could pray and tika too could pray they kept on praying fasting and learning the word of god so dear friends tika tells us after a few months of going to that seminar fasting and praying one day was from the seminar arrived home it was around 10 p.m tanzanian time at night received a message on a certain dating site that i am going to be sharing with you before i end this video and the message was hello i am paul from germany i am very interested in you i would like to know you more please feel free to ask me any question and this is my whatsapp number let's connect there so after tika seeing his number had to write to him and they started chatting they chatted and chatted then the third day he sent her his photos the photo of his mother and the photo of his father oh my god tika was so happy also sent him her photos photos of the dad and the mom 
all was really fine then the next day as they were going to the seminar this guy called and asked tika where are you tika was like I am on the way to the seminar with my dad. Then he asked her, are you Catholic? Tika was like, yes, I am Catholic. He said, okay, that's good. So Tika went to the seminar and when she returned back home, you know, switched on her phone and then found lots of photos from Paul. He sent her photos of baby Jesus and Virgin Mary holding Jesus, photos of the disciples. They were all over in his room on the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> she was so impressed, was like, I didn't know Paul too was a Catholic. This is so good. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Paul to me. So dear friends, because Tika was so excited after receiving the photos from Paul, had to show them to her dad. When her dad saw those photos, was also impressed and told Tika, let's pray about it. Also Tika had to talk to the Catholic father and told him about Paul. Then the father was like, if he comes to Tanzania and wants to marry you, make sure you do the Catholic wedding. You come to this church and you get married. Tika was like, yes, that is what I will do. So dear friends, I had to take a pause and talk about this because I believe I've got lots of subscribers who are Christians. Lots of Christian ladies watching me. I am a Christian lady too. And you guys know that I am here because of God. Everything that I have is because of God. Even you two guys to follow me here, listening to me, you know, <laughs> even succeeding after watching my videos or after I guide you, it's because of God. You know my story, most of you, though not the whole of it, because I have lots of testimonies. And yeah, one day I'll come here and bring another testimony that God has done in my life. And it's good you guys get to know because it inspires you and it brings you close to God, knowing that if he did it for Bella's family, why not me? Yeah. So I did a video and I think three videos back, someone was like, guys, if you're going to enter into a relationship, make sure you involve God. And I was like, it's true. That is what I've been telling you guys, that if you are a Christian, you believe in God, involve God in whatever you do. But at the same time, shine your eyes. Stay with your eyes wide open. Don't close your eyes and then be like, God, you will help me. A guy has lots of red flags, but you keep being like, God, you will help me. It will work out. The truth is, it will never work out. And that is when things happen and you start being like, why did God allow it? <laughs> but in real sense, it's you who allowed it to happen. Yeah, it's you who allowed it to happen by closing your eyes. So open your eyes and God is going to guide you through. We'll make that relationship to work out. And from this story, you will understand where I am coming from. Why am I telling you all this? Even if some of you said <laughs> you don't need my opinion, I'll still give my opinion or... <laughs> As long as this is my YouTube channel, <laughs> African Bella, the real talk. We have to talk as sisters <laughs> to save each other. So dear friends, let's get back to the story. Tika kept on chatting with Paul. Everything was going really good. Then one day, Paul asks Tika, what do you do for a living? Tika told him, I am a teacher but at the same time i have a poultry farm actually i'm planning to leave my job because they pay me very little money compared to what i earn in my business he was like ah really okay for me i earn thirty-five thousand euros per month i pay myself i am the boss 
he told Tika that he has got a company. It's a computer supplying company. So when Tika had that salary, she was like, what? Let me go on Google and convert. <laughs> she went and had to convert. Oh my God. It was 85 million Tanzanian shillings. <laughs> She told the dad, was like, is it possible someone to earn all this amount of money in a month? The dad was like, it's Europe, maybe it's possible, you know? <laughs> so they kept on chatting and all went well. Then November came. These people started communicating for the first time in October 2021. So November 2021, Paul told the Tika, I want to come to Tanzania to see you in real life. Oh my goodness. Tika couldn't believe it. it was like, what? Is it true? He said, yes, I am coming. She was so happy and even told the parents. So friends, the day for Paul to travel to Tanzania came. It was in March 2022. And because Tika knew about it, so they had prepared and doesn't know how to drive so the brother offered to be the one to drive her to the airport <laughs> the mother was like tika are you sure this person is real are you sure he is coming are you sure everything will be fine you know <laughs> mothers we always worry so the mother was really really worried but tika told her don't worry mom i'm going with my younger brother <laughs> everything will be fine nothing will happen to me so they drove to the airport. So arriving at the airport, they waited for some time. Then Paul came out. When Paul came out, of course, Tika went, hugged him, kissed him, was super, super happy. I was like, Bella, I could tell myself, you know, deep in my heart, me, Tika, I've brought a white guy all away from Germany to Tanzania wow she was so proud of herself and you know her self-esteem was there up 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 <laughs> yeah so after hugging tika tika's brother wanted to hug paul and what paul did refused the hug was like no we know in my culture we don't hug strangers for me you are a stranger i just came for tika you know She's the only one that I know. So I'll just give you my hand. We'll shake hand. And the brother was like, yeah, it's okay. No problem. So they shaked hands. Hello, hello. So guys, another pause. All that happened at the airport for me as your coach, as your mentor, that's a red flag. If I was in Tika's shoes, that could be red flag number one. And at the time, I remember when I used to date, if I notice a red flag in a guy, even if I had so much feeling for that person, it dies. Yeah. I start detaching myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, because for good sake, that's my brother, my blood brother. Even if it's your culture in Europe, you are in Africa. Hello? And it's not true what he said, guys. For example, if I am to go out with my husband, maybe you're going to meet his friends that I have never met in my life. When they greet us, of course, they're going to hug my husband. And because they know I am the wife, they're not going to give me the hand. They are going to kiss me because they kiss. <laughs> Italians kisses two times but if you go to Switzerland it's three times <laughs> yeah so they kiss two times <sniffs> ciao that's how they do it <laughs> they won't be like <sniffs> ciao to my husband and with me hello no that shows you have no manners yes <laughs> no matter how you claim to come from a developed country but you have no manners. So that was red flag number one. If anything like that ever happened to you with your boyfriend at the airport or when you go to maybe meet your relatives or your parents, mm, <laughs> know that you are in trouble. Yeah, we continue. So yes, guys, after that airport drama, 
Tika, Paul, Tika's younger brother headed to the hotel where Paul had booked. After arriving at the hotel, it was near Sleepway. Tanzanians watching this, you know where Sleepway is in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. So after arriving there, he had to put his bags in the hotel and then they went to Sleepway for dinner. So ordered food and the food that came, oh my God, Tika tells us it was new. She had never tasted that food. It was like fingers. <laughs> I laughed a lot on this. <laughs> yeah, she said it was strange, strange food, but tasted super good. They enjoyed very, very much. She was happy, you know, to be around the boyfriend. And Paul, yeah, showed that he really cared so, so much. He paid for that dinner. And then after dinner, Tika was like, I have to go back home. Paul said, fine, tomorrow, Come in the morning so that we can have breakfast together. Tika said, fine, no problem, then left. So guys, Tika goes back home with his brother. They tell the parents all that happened, what they ate, <laughs> everything, guys. The parents were very, very happy that at least he is a real person. Because you know this online dating thing. And you guys that are on the dating side, you are going to agree with me. Sometimes you can be chatting with a guy, but it crosses your mind that what if we will never meet? What if I'm chatting with this guy, all is going really good, we are planning, but it is just like a dream which will never come true. It happens, okay? So that's why the parents were so, so happy. And Tika eventually met Paul. So yeah, the day ended, they slept, and in the morning, Tika had to prepare herself to go to the hotel for breakfast because Paul invited her. So Paul that morning called Tika and told Tika, take an Uber. When you arrive here, I am going to pay. That's what Tika did called an Uber and then went to Paul's hotel. Arriving at the gate, called Paul that, you know, I'm here so that he can come and pay. But Paul told her, you pay, then I'll give you the money. I can't come to the gate now. Tika paid and tells us did not see any problem, did not sense any red flag. Because for her, what mattered the most is that Paul was in Tanzania for her. She wanted true love and believed will find happiness in Paul. It is Paul who will give her happiness because believed finding a white guy will make her happy. Never cared of how she feels, you know, the whole situation, someone making you pay, nothing like that. But her sister sensed something is wrong and told Tika, be careful. You can't expect to find happiness in another person. You should first be happy with yourself because when you are happy, you will be able to protect your happiness, you know, <laughs> from anyone taking advantage of you or hurting you. Concentrate on your happiness first and be careful with this Paul while dating him but tika did not listen <laughs> was in love already with paul so yes guys she went they took breakfast together and all was super good <laughs> after breakfast tika had to take him around the restlam you know to see beautiful attractions, you know the beaches and all of that so i asked tika if they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> that first night was like no bella we did not enjoy the goodies that first night but the second day <laughs> when she went for breakfast yes <laughs> they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> so at the end of the day before tika leaves my blood is boiling guys it's boiling yeah so before she leaves paul tells her tomorrow i would like to meet your parents so tell them 
to come at my hotel. Can you believe it? <laughs> Tika is like, fine, I'm going to tell them and goes back home. After arriving home, tells the parents that Paul would like to meet you guys. So he wants you to go to the hotel so that you get to meet. We do the introduction and have some lunch together. Cause the parents saw that Tika was happy, agreed to go meet Paul. But guys, that was another red flag. Yes. That this guy feels like he is superior than everyone. Yes. He has no respect. Who does that? You came to see me in my country. It's fine. I appreciate. But if you want to meet my parents, you have got good intentions. You don't meet them at your hotel. You go to our family home. That's our tradition, our African tradition. You go to our family home to meet my parents, introduce yourself and your intentions, why you came to our home, even if the daughter has talked to them already, but you have to tell them. That is what we call respect in Africa. You don't just go to Africa and call, come to the hotel to see me. Who are you? <laughs> you see? So, <laughs> again, this was a very, very big mistake not to be ignored. And I remember sitting here or in another room <laughs> doing a video telling you guys that if you're chatting with a guy, he is a white guy, wants to come to Africa to see you, you're from Kenya, for example, or you are from, let's say, Zambia, or you're from Uganda. <laughs> a guy comes and tells you, come to Victoria Falls, you know, where there are resorts there. Or a guy comes to Tanzania and tells you, come to Zanzibar. Or a guy comes to Kenya and then calls you, you live in Nairobi, and he's like, come to Diani. My advice was and is still do not go. You came for me, you must come to the city where I live so that we get to meet, so that we get to talk. So this too is the same. You come to see me, you want to see my parents, you don't disturb my parents to come and see you at your hotel, but you go to meet them. Yeah. So from the videos that I did, and after watching this video, you will agree with me that a guy who comes and then goes to another place, not where you live, and tell you to be the one to follow him, even if he sends you the money, it's a red flag. He doesn't care about you. He's not even serious about that relationship. After watching this video, you are going to agree with me. Because of what... Paul did after. Yeah. So let's continue. So guys, the next day, Tika's parents get ready and yeah, goes to the hotel where Paul was staying. After arriving there, yeah, he welcomed them very, very well. They talked, you know, lunchtime came, they ate lunch, good, good food. All was yummy. <laughs> Tika tells us and the dad while eating asked Paul, what do you do for a living? And then Paul told him, I have a computer supplying company. I supply computers to China. I supply computers, you know, in Dubai. I've got a branch in Dubai. You know, I'm a businessman. Then starts bragging. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tika's dad was impressed, was like, wow, <laughs> this is the best son-in-law ever. So yeah, after the lunch coming to an end, then Paul brings another proposal. He was like, he would like to go with her family, the whole family, to Zanzibar. 
wow 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 <laughs> Her family was like, what? Yeah, then he says, we are going to travel by air. <laughs> but dad is like, we are so many. Traveling by air will be too expensive. Why can't we travel by water? Take a boat. It's easy and even more affordable. I was like, no, let's go by air. But in the end, they agreed to go by boat. And yes, guys, they planned after two days. They were all ready went to Zanzibar. <laughs> Arriving in Zanzibar, they had to take, you know, rooms, but Tika had to sleep with Paul. He is the boyfriend. Also, Paul had told the dad, the parents, that I love your daughter very, very much. I am going to marry her. So when they took the room together, Tika's dad told Paul, don't make my daughter pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> i feel embarrassed <laughs> and paul was like don't worry even if it happens i am going to marry her the dad was like fine <laughs> this is the modern dad ever <laughs> yeah so yeah at night it was time to enjoy the goodies and yeah they enjoyed the goodies all was fine <laughs> The next day came, they had to go sightseeing, went to different places, Nungui, all those tourist attractions in Zanzibar, stayed for four days. The trip went super, super good. And while on that trip, he kept on telling Tika that I want a baby, whether a boy, whether a girl, but I want a baby. And his past relationship, he was a divorced guy yeah at that time so guys after the zanzibar trip tika tells us the next day paul went to her house to see her poultry farm and after arriving there he was happy and said wow you have a very good business she said thank you the parents welcomed him very very well like all went good and the next day he was traveling back to germany so tika had to accompany him to the airport and after arriving at the airport paul tells tika i don't have money left with me now i've spent all my money but when i arrive in germany i am going to send you money do you have a bank account tika was like no i don't have any bank account you know i operate the old way I keep my money at home. <laughs> then he was kind angry at her. Why don't you have a bank account? You don't know the importance of having a bank account. <laughs> so Tika told him, don't worry. I am going to open a bank account and send you the details. He was like, fine. So Po left to Germany. Tika returned back home. When she returned home, the mother asked her, did he leave you with some money? <laughs> Our African mothers <laughs> she was like no he did not leave me with any money but he said will send me some money I need to open a bank account so the parents helped her and she opened a bank account after opening that bank account sent the details to Paul so that he can send her the money after sending the details Tika expected this guy to be spoiling her sending money to her you know she's the girlfriend <laughs> but he kept on saying i will send i will send i will send <laughs> never sent her the money guys okay and this is the same same guy that was saying he is rich he earns thirty-five thousand euros per month so guys another question that i asked tika is if paul ever introduced her to his family or any of his friends in germany she was like bella no he has never introduced me to anyone in his family not even the friends but whenever he could come here in tanzania when we could go to zanzibar or any place could introduce me to people as his wife and remember 
Tika introduced this guy to the family. So her family knew him, but she didn't know anyone in his family. How many times have I talked of a guy introducing you to his family? So many times. Stop ignoring the things that I tell you guys. I tell you these things for a reason. Because if you ignore that, later you are going to cry. Because a guy who wants you to introduce him to your family, but his family know, has got lots of things that is hiding from you. That is why he doesn't want to introduce you to his family. And not only that, it means the guy is not serious. He's not taking your relationship seriously like the way you are taking it so first introduce me to your relatives if i am very important to you if you plan to marry me in the future let me know your relatives let me know your friends and then i will introduce you to my family my friends everyone it should work this way guys never ignore never forget i repeat so Paul did not send money to Tika like he promised, but the relationship continued. She did not end it, not at all. <laughs> all was going good, according to her. So July came, 2022, and Paul flew from Germany to Zanzibar. After arriving in Zanzibar, sent Tika the money for the boat, and told her come to Zanzibar he is the boyfriend so Tika had to take the boat went to Zanzibar it was also his birthday so had bought lots of gifts for him expensive gifts because those us at that time was still earning from her business was just okay <laughs> yeah he was so happy you know to get the gifts from Tika to see Tika but this guy, the gifts that he brought for her from Germany was a tea bag and a key holder. She was happy. It was as Bella, I was happy with the gifts that he brought for me because I was really in love. For me, I didn't care about, you know, what this guy is giving me. I wanted happiness. I wanted true love. I want that love life. You know, she is a hopeless romantic. <laughs> Yeah. So went to Zanzibar to this hotel called Bella Vista. She was like, it is called Bella Vista, like your name, Bella. So they stayed at Bella Vista. They were happy, enjoyed the birthday, enjoyed the goodies. <laughs> and he kept on telling her he wants a child from her. Attention, guys. I have seen most of you coming to me, oh Bella, I've met a guy and he's like, he only wants kids, he doesn't want to get married now. Or sometimes you tell me, this guy says, he wants to come to my country and impregnate me first. Then I can go to his country. Guys, you who are lucky to talk to me, I've been telling you, run, because he is not a good guy. Never accept such kind of a thing. And I'm here telling you who is watching this video. If you come across a guy who is always talking of getting pregnant, but he's not talking of marriage or anything else. It is only I want a child from you. It's a red flag and never get pregnant for that guy. Okay. Either protect your goodies or use protection. So Paul kept on telling Tika wants a baby from her and as they were in zanzibar he kept on going sightseeing to see the houses and he was like he wants to buy a house he want to buy a plot and this started even from their first visit to zanzibar <laughs> that he wanted to buy a house in zanzibar but tika could tell him you know for me i don't like zanzibar i would like a house in Dar es Salaam." but he kept on you know talking like that but in the end even those people that were selling houses after exchanging numbers, they came to find out he was only lying, had no intention of buying a house. He was that kind of a guy who likes to brag, who likes to show others that, you know, I have money. <laughs> so they stayed in Zanzibar for one week. And after that one week, he left, returned to Germany. That was July 2022. And Tika tells us on 8th of August, 
2022 started feeling you know like someone who is pregnant and had to go to the pharmacy bought the test and tested after testing found out was pregnant wow <laughs> had to tell the parents i'm soon bringing the granddaughter and in her heart knew that after all paul is going to marry me and me being pregnant for him will even love me the more yeah that's what she thought but you who is watching this video you my babies i know right now you're like no she was wrong you can never make a man love you by getting pregnant and that's what tika too at the end of this video advised you never ever get pregnant for a guy just because you want him to love you the more yeah so after finding out had to call paul to tell him that i am pregnant so when she called paul was like paul i am pregnant he was like what are you sure she said yes i tested he told her no you have to go to the hospital and test so that we can be sure you are pregnant tika did as paul told her went to the hospital did the test and it's true she was pregnant he was very very happy and was like this is what i always wanted you know to have a baby with you don't worry my love i'm going to marry you we're gonna have a church wedding you know at the catholic church so tika was at peace he even promised her again that he will send her the money but august came no money and tika started using her business money and tells us the only thing she could eat were the sausages and could eat ice cream that's it so could take the money from the business take 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 she had five thousand chicken or poultry they went down day by day day by day till 200 so it reached a point where tika was in a very bad place financially but paul was not giving a hand of help in any way and another thing that tika tells us when he came the second time when it was his birthday in zanzibar he was kind of rude he could shout at her for no reason you know could tell her you are a nonsense and all that kind of things because who was in love never paid attention like i said so throughout the whole pregnancy paul sent her only 50 euros and i remember when this lady was six months pregnant she came to me so before i tell you what happened when she came to me if you're watching this video and you are in a position to pay for the fee so that you can be guided better do it as early as possible don't wait until things goes bad because sometimes you guys come to me at the point whereby things are here and my hands are tied i can't even help you that much yeah so don't do that because when you come at that point you really make me feel useless to be honest and i start telling myself i wish you could have come before you know when you are still dating this guy you know to tell me bella i'm dating this guy there is one two three four or you could have come to me at the time you were on the app searching so that i can guide you so that you can attract a serious guy or when a serious guy comes we can notice him and when a serious guy comes we can also notice him and let go of him, block him, move on, keep searching for a quality guy. I've seen most of you be like, ah, I'll go to Bella when I find the guy. I'll go to Bella with only good news. And in the process, while you're waiting for good news, the worst happens. Just like Tika. Tika used to watch my videos here on YouTube, okay? phone the german guy never came to tell me that bella i phoned this german guy and i would like to be guided you know throughout <laughs> she came to me when she was six months pregnant and that's when she told me bella i am pregnant right now but the guy i have been dating 
he has sent me only 50 euros and we had plans of getting married so i really don't know what to do so after listening to her asking her questions i was like for me i don't think you should marry this guy now even if you're pregnant because she was like wanted to get married when she was still pregnant due to her religion she is a very good good catholic you know and giving birth before getting married uh, it really paints her family and her in a bad way so it's like i'm just confused i don't know what to do whether to go ahead with marriage and marry this guy so that i can be good you know i can make my parents happy and also the community around me plus my religion or i should just wait because this guy has been talking to me in a bad way even the second time when he came here he was really talking to me in a very very rude way i suspect he is toxic and i was like if he is showing you now what if you marry him take more time keep getting to know him if he tells you he will leave you because you refused to get married to him that's fine you will take care of your baby after all he only sent you 50 euros so we talked yes i guided her and after that she was like thank you so much bella for the guidance i will follow what you have told me and i said okay you will update me and in my head i knew that that relationship is done 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 i didn't hear from tika from that time till last week so guys when tika came back last week told me where we had stopped that time was like bella he came back again and when he came back yeah he showed that he was happy about me being pregnant but he was so rude to me he kept on being rude kept on shouting at me stayed for eight days and also before leaving at the airport gave her 40 euros she got super angry and told him i can't believe you're giving me this amount of money you know i'm pregnant and soon i'll have the baby how are we going to survive maybe you don't need this child so what i'm going to do i'm going to give this child my own name and remove your name it seems like you don't care he was like you can't do that she is my child i'll send you the money and left can you imagine 40 euros and this is the guy that claimed to be rich so he left and tika kept on growing her pregnancy it was really tough for her but the parents the sisters could really help her even financially and then it was time for her to deliver the baby so when it was time to deliver the baby the doctors had told her that you are going to go under the knife ration and the money that was needed for everything 1500 euros so Tika had to call Paul and tell him about it. Paul was like, okay, I'll send the money he never sent. To an extent, her sister got so angry, had to call Paul, was like, Paul, why are you doing like this? You have not been contributing anything. What is happening? Then that's when he was like, I'll send the money. Eventually sent only 500 euros. <laughs> ah, and the parents had no option they had to look for the money contribute until it reached 1500 euros for the daughter to deliver the baby at muhimbili hospital in dar es salaam tanzania so yes guys god is good tika delivered her beautiful baby girl <laughs> her name is victoria yeah she's super super cute and after delivery stayed at the hospital then had to go home so guys after tika being home for one week with victoria victoria got sick remember tika's business had collapsed and the parents the sisters had contributed lots of money for her to deliver the baby through operation so it was really a difficult moment for the family financially because that money that they paid it's a lot a lot of money guys in tanzania because it is 0.5 million tanzanian shillings 
it's a lot i repeat for a normal family like tika's because she comes from a very humble background yeah so had to call paul and told paul you need to send money victoria is sick that is when he sent a hundred euros some things for the baby like soap pacifier clothes yeah and she was happy about that took the baby to the hospital was checked given medication and yeah then out of the hospital again returned home continued to raise the kid so it's like the kid was for tika's parents and the sisters whereby the father is alive ah that is why i told you guys not all white men are good don't lie to yourself and be like white men don't abandon their kids who could have imagined a white guy can act like that because back home i know <laughs> if you don't have any experience with these white guys you'll be like ah they are so good they are so genuine they are honest they will treat you good they will love you so much if you have a baby with them you'll be treated like a queen the baby will be the princess <laughs> my sister open your eyes while dating that white guy you are going to suffer when he is bad he is really bad 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 evil so after the sister seeing paul acting like that told tika this man is not a husband material this man is not a good man my dear sister i'm really sorry for you so guys tika kept on growing her child alone with the help of the family of course tells us doesn't have enough milk in her breast to breastfeed victoria so she takes lactogen and tells us the whole box of lactogen victoria can finish it in three days and lactogen is very very expensive in tanzania so it has been really really frustrating she has gone through a depression due to how paul is behaving so dear friends in june this year 2024 actually last month paul went to tanzania again and for the first time to meet victoria so when he arrived yeah he was happy to see victoria and spend some few days with victoria and tika in dar es salaam then was like let's go to zanzibar so while in zanzibar tika had 30 euros in her bag paul was searching through the bags i don't know why so that money and took it was like i will give it to you back so they stayed in zanzibar together as family and i'm kind of angry why did this lady like entertain this guy again in her life after behaving the way he behaved but it is what it is when you love because she said bella when i love i love yeah so they were together in zanzibar and tells us one day was bathing victoria in the bathtub and couldn't see the soap so had to use paul's soap to bathe victoria paul when he came into the room because was outside he started shouting at her babe babe who told you to touch my soap do you know where that soap was bought it was bought in germany not in tanzania <laughs> you are not allowed to use my soap even touch it goodness she was so surprised started crying and after that he went out so when he went out he returned and then when he returned back he was like i'm sorry tried to calm her down but tika felt really really bad because he told her bad words that you are a nonsense you know like tanzania is such a stupid country and all those words that really broke her heart so yeah that incident passed they kept on staying in zanzibar and says in zanzibar he could spend even he could give tips you know to the waiters waitresses you know 30 euros 15 euros as just tip <laughs> oh my god also could talk to those people who sells houses again that he wants to buy <laughs> oh my god this guy i can't even stand him 
Yeah, so they stayed there and tells us the whole trip in Zanzibar he spent 700 euros. <laughs> when you convert that money to Tanzanian shillings, it's a lot of money. But here in Europe, <laughs> in some cities, you can't even pay one month rent. Yeah. But with Tika, she was like, oh my God, he spent lots of money in Zanzibar. <laughs> yeah. Because of the currency, guys, it's totally different. Yeah. And it is very, very possible that this guy had just a normal life. Just a normal, normal life. Maybe the middle class, but I really don't know even he even fits in the middle class here in Europe. But in Africa went to tell everyone that he is rich made tika's parents to believe that he is a rich guy in europe but from what i've seen in this whole story no it wasn't like that at all at all he also started wanting the goodies and told her once the second child but tika had seen fire already <laughs> just with one child, Victoria. Imagine adding another child, the same same man who is irresponsible. So she said no and they started fighting. Actually, it was bad, bad, bad. For the rest of the days, they stayed in Zanzibar and had returned back to Dar es Salaam. So when they returned back to Dar es Salaam, they were still fighting and money was the biggest problem because Tika wanted Paul to be responsible for the child, but Paul wasn't being responsible for Victoria. So she got angry and they started exchanging words. But what actually shocked me, number one, when she was leaving the hotel where he stays to her parents' home, he gave her only 20 euros. Remember, he had taken her 30 euros. He never gave her that money back. But when she is leaving, he's giving her 20 euros. A woman with a newborn. You know how babies can be expensive, guys. She needs to eat. She needs diapers. She gets sick, has to be taken to the hospital. And the guy is giving her only 20 euros. So she was so angry. Why are you doing like this? That is when this guy shocked me the more. The words that he told Tika are the words from a man who never loved you. Are the words from a man who always hated you, was just waiting for that moment to show you that hatred. Yes, because told her, you are very poor, your family is very poor, smelling chicken, because she had a poultry farm, so started telling her, smelling chicken woman, you are living in Tabata, that baby needs to live in Mikocheni, you know, Masaki, and you're there living a poor life, that baby needs to be taken away from you, I'll take to a new mother, she needs a white mother, not you. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe it. Because she sent me the messages. I went through the messages. I was boiling. I'll try my best to post them here. But cover, you know, the numbers and the names. Because I don't want trouble with Whitey. <laughs> Just to show you how this guy never loved Tika. And he feels like he is superior than everyone. So he told Tika, if you don't want to give me that child, I'm going to leave that child to you as a gift. When Victoria grows, we look for me. No problem. Just forget about me. You see, guys, I told you, I really wish Tika could have protected her goodies or even used the protection with this German guy, really. I wish, but it will only remain I wish. But what I told Tika is she should just be thankful for her child because the child is a blessing. And she was like, yes, Bella, I'm so thankful to God to bring to me Victoria. She is my everything. She is my strength. She is my reason to live now. No matter all the hardship, all the challenges that I am going through now. So I want to take you a little bit back and tell you something again. 
when I was talking to Tika, of course, you know, I always ask questions. <laughs> Someone last time was telling me, Bella, if you were a journalist, oh my God, you could be on top, the best journalist ever. <laughs> yeah. So I tend to ask lots of questions so that I get to understand very well the situation. And guys, get the tips to help you, you who is still on online dating apps and sites searching because it is not well or be careful guys with the people you meet on these dating sites dating apps you can meet someone there and your life becomes you live your happily ever after you achieve all your dreams but you can meet someone on the dating sites and your whole life is ruined that is why i'm telling you be careful please dear sisters so i did a video and i told you be careful with these countries if you meet a guy and he tells you i'm from this country shine your eyes some countries i told you just ignore them <laughs> and i gave you the reasons to why you should ignore them so as i was asking tika questions that is when she told me actually paul is not a hundred percent german he is half Indian, half German. The mother is Indian and the dad is German. But he grew up his childhood in India, then came to Germany. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, now I understand where this whole thing of feeling superior than others is coming from. Guys, <laughs> I think I've told you, I worked with Indians for years, yeah, <laughs> working with Indians in Tanzania. I know Indians very, very well, but I'm not saying all Indians are bad, not at all. Don't get me wrong, guys, but most, most, I don't know, at least the ones I've met in Tanzania, they feel like they are superior than black African people yeah they treat black african people very very bad they like to be praised <laughs> this is what i went through at work <laughs> you know working with indians all the time you should say yes sir yes sir <laughs> and be really down even if you're on the same level no they don't want to be on the same level with you they are superior than you because they are indian so i came into a conclusion that Paul was feeling superior because of that. Even the way he threw very, very bad words at Tika shows a clear picture of a bad Indian man. Yeah, this is the truth. And you know, <laughs> I won't hide it or sugarcoat it. That's how things are. So if Tika came across that video where I said, if you come across Indian guys, there is one, two, three, four, Hearing I have Indian origin, what was she supposed to do? Not to block the guy, not to say that Bella said you are a red flag. No, <laughs> observe, you know, open her eyes to every red flag. And after finding out the things I said in that video in Paul, then was supposed to leave him. But unfortunately, some of you watches my videos you don't put what I say into actions and you end up in the hands of wrong people, wrong men. So guys, Tika and Paul's love story ended like that. Paul decided to abandon Victoria. Yeah, abandon the baby with her. Right now, she has remained with her baby suffering. And having said this, if you're here watching this, you feel like you want to support Vic in the raising of the kid with anything, feel free to contact me privately. I'll give you the phone number and you will show your support to her. Thank you so much, guys. Tika later got a friend who lives in Germany. And when told that friend Paul's names, like full names, he went and checked, came back to Tika, was like, Tika, Paul has two kids. Actually, they are twins, very, very young. Yeah, young twins. Even sent the photos to Tika. 
Tika was very, very surprised because he told her that was divorced but never mentioned of having the kids. So that is when she confronted Paul, but Paul, you know, hmm, did not look shocked like, oh wow, you have discovered me. No, he was like, so what? Yes, I have kids, so what? Ah, things like these really reminds me of what I've been telling you. I told you, once you give your goodies, your power is gone like really really gone as a woman <laughs> but if this guy has not yet got the goodies <laughs> you still have your power and you should use that time to make sure you clear all your doubts in a guy you are chatting to before you give out your goodies if you plan to give your goodies before marriage <laughs> so to her advice to every woman watching this video and you are on the dating sites dating apps searching for the right guy so number one i've said it already she tells you don't get pregnant for a white guy thinking he'll take care of you because paul told her victoria is your gift she will look for me your whole family is poor and what she responded is today i'm poor but who knows tomorrow maybe i'll be rich god knows so her advice number two made me kind sad yeah and it is what she has been through that is why she is like this yeah so tells you that let the white man love you because if he loves you you are going to enjoy but if you are the one to love him you are going to suffer yeah, and was like, even the Bible says, a man will love the wife and the woman will respect the husband. So tells us or tells you has learned the hard way not to love a white man. But when she finds that white man that loves her, will respect him. So I said she's talking like that due to what she has been through because says she could, you know, spoil him with gifts when she had money, loved him very, very much. So she was the one showing love towards this guy. But on Paul's side, there was no love actions shown to Tika at all, at all. So that is why she was like, no, for me, loving a white guy, like I'm crazy for you. You are everything. You are my happiness. No, you love me. When I see you love me, then I am going to respect you. We are going to live like that. Because <laughs> I know if you love me, I'm going to enjoy life. I will be at peace, you know, and I will be happy. <laughs> Her advice number three, protect your happiness. Tells you your life is in your hands. You are the one to make it better or you are the one to bring yourself down. Yeah, so always, even if you are in a relationship, your happiness comes first. If the guy is not giving you happiness, if the guy is not giving you peace of mind, don't be like, I'll keep trying because I believe this is the man that will give me happiness. It will never happen. Her advice number four, don't plan anything when you are too excited and happy or when you are too sad. It is like when they tell you, don't go to the supermarket when you are very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you will buy things that you are not even supposed to buy. So advises you guys that if you are to plan something, you are to make decisions. Make those decisions. Make those plans when you are ready. When you are at peace. So ends her love story by saying it's not that her love for white men has disappeared it is still there she still loves white men and feels more secure with white men no matter her bad experience <laughs> yeah because the whole thing that happened with the prof made her to hate white made her to hate black men the more and it's like better remain as a single mother than being in a relationship with a black man so praise to god to maybe one day bring the right guy that will love her and her daughter and then they live there happily ever after so guys 
to the name of the dating site where Tika found Paul. She found him on F Dating. It's a free dating site. Most of you that watches my videos, you know F Dating. You've got lots of success stories from F Dating. But unfortunately, right now, we are getting failed stories too from F Dating. And this reminds you of what I told you that on the dating sites, you will find serious men and unserious men. Yeah, we balance. <laughs> So guys thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate much for your love and your support please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah. I think you can hear Sophie in the background. <laughs> Couldn't wait <laughs> for this moment. Okay, guys. Ciao.